Hi, today I'm working on BMW E60 and gonna replace crankshaft forward seal because there is oil leakage from it. Generally these seals are quite reliable. They starts leaking when deteriorates or they got mechanically damaged. When installing them there is needed extra care. They are made from Teflon material. Speaking about BMW E60 model there are cases when engines with 400,000 or more kilometers on odometer, the seal can make a groove on crankshaft chain sprocket where the seal is mounted. So in these cases you need to replace the timing chain sprocket. For this you need a bit more job to do, you need to remove timing chain cover and release the chains. Usually this is done during timing chain replacement. And if there are any kinds of deterioration, the sprocket should be changed. So in this case this seal was bended during previous inspiration and need to be replaced again. For best performance there are tools for this task. There is special BMW tool for radial seal in timing case cover replacement. Also you can find in internet the alternatives more cheaper than original tools. This time I do not have such tool and do this task in very simple way which you will see. There is a seal with its part number on its box. This one is easy to install and recommended by my local car parts dealers. Next I will use dynamometric torque wrench for crankshaft pulley bolts. The torque value is 40 newton meters plus 60 degrees for each bolt. Angle socket to measure the torque angle on crankshaft pulley bolts. Thread locker for crankshaft pulley bolts. Silicone spray for easier installation of seal. Two screws for seal removal. There's less or more everything about tools so let's start with making an axis for seal replacement. Remove front upper radiator cover. Metal and plastic one. Remove upper engine cover. Remove the lower engine cover. Remove intercooler and intake manifold hose.
Move Radiator Fan. There are two drive belts on this M57 engine model. One for air conditioning and other main serpentine belt. Remove air conditioning drive belt first. You can use special tool for this type of belt removal. It do not have any tensioner, you can easy remove it just by turning main pulley and pushing the belt to the side. It easy goes out from its groove and pops down the pulley. Then release serpentine drive belt. You can leave it in place, there is no needed to completely remove it. Release main pulley bolts and remove pulley. Inspect the pulley for cracks. This pulley is also called vibration damper. When it deteriorates inner side of material starts to crack. It is quite common problem for these engines especially with high mileage. This one looks quite well, but it needs to be cleaned. Because of locations in front of engine it contains dusts and debris. This one collected debris in its grooves. So let's clean it. Thank you.
area cleaning. I use brake cleaner and IPA isopropyl alcohol cleaning solvent. I spray brake cleaner first then go with brush over the area. After that I use IPA and dry it with compressed air. Screw in, the screws an old seal, be careful not to damage the edges of seal seating surfaces. This seal has a metal ring inside and you need to screw the screws in it. Use any tool you have to remove the seal. When seal pops out, gently remove it with screwdriver. When you remove the seal, precisely clean mating surfaces on timing chain cover. Apply silicone lubricant on inner skirt of seal for easier installation. For installation I used metal ring for seat the seal in place. To make the seal fully engage and flush with timing chain cover, I used a small piece of wood. Gently and evenly punch with mallet around the seal. So seal is installed now need assemble everything in back row. According manual new bolts must be used every time you loosen them. But assuming that these bolts are quite thick, comparing with other cars and engines I left the same bolts, to avoid loosening in future I use thread locker. First install main pulley. For this pulley you need apply 40 newton meters seating torque. Then you need apply 60 degrees angle torque for every bolt.
After that, they're left other parts in a sequence as follows. Serpentine belt, air conditioning drive belt, the radiator fan, intake manifold hose, radiator and engine covers.
According installation instructions, there is note. Wait 4 hours after seal installation before engine starting. This should be needed for better seal seating in place. Ignoring this there can cause a leak in future through this seal again. 4 hours later.